What do you think of the French defense, Nihal? It's bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> you also played it against me. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I have another match. Not with Samai, not with Anish Giri, not with Vidit Gujarati, but another star from India, child prodigy Nihal Sarin, will be joining me in half an hour for an odds match. It's gonna be all about fun, creating crazy chaotic games and me trying to survive against someone who is a lot better than me. Nihal is 16 years old. He's one of the youngest grandmasters in the world and he's gonna be here with us shortly. How is everybody doing today? Let me close the YouTube channel or we could just pause the video for now. My opponent, 16 year old grandmaster Nihal Sarin. He became a grandmaster at the age of 14. 14. I'm not a grandmaster and I'm 33 <laughs> and I'm very retired, more than retired. Let me show you the difference between Nihal and me. Nihal among the junior players, junior categories under 20, age under 20, he's world number six, rating of 2620, 2620, that's his rating. My peak rating was 2393 and when I retired it was already below you can see the tendency wasn't the best 2301 and i sang then i kept 2325 was my rating 300 points less when i retired that was my rating at competition i also look different <laughs> i also look different i must say i do look different but yes i'm up against a very strong player he's only 16 years old and he beat me at an over the board tournament isle of man in 2017 before he even became a grandmaster so he already won a game against me at over the board to tournament competition isle of man 2017 i lasted 40 41 moves 41 move game not my not my best achievement but today i'm gonna try my best at least with the odds i hope the odds will be in my favor hello nihal hey, hi. can you hear me hello yeah. Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining me for today. Yeah, thank, thank you very much. My pleasure. No, it's my honor because I was telling my viewers that I already have played against you at an over the board tournament in 2017 and you crushed me. I had no chance and that was before you became a grandmaster. Yeah. So I don't, I think my chances are even less than it used to be uh, two years ago. Uh, two, even three years ago. Yeah, 2017, I Love Man, wasn't it? Yeah, actually, that's almost, no, it's like four years. Goodness me, it's yeah. Not yeah. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. But since then, you be, you have become a grandmaster. You completed your final grandmaster norm at the age of 14, if I'm not, if I am yes. remember correctly, yes. the age. So you are still one of the youngest grandmasters in the world and world number six among junior players under 20 category. That's very impressive, Nihal. Thank you. Can you tell my viewers a little bit about yourself um, in terms of what are your goals for chess? Because you already are a grandmaster over 2600 rated. What's what's next for you? Before you, of course, uh, crush me in these uh, odds games that we're going to be playing. So other than crushing me, what else is on your goals list? Um, I don't really have any goals. I just want to play some tuna and other. Mm -hmm. How how has I it think... been for you in twenty twenty? Uh, were you able to play online, or how do you keep training uh, and competing when there weren't really over the board tournaments? Uh, I played a lot online. A lot and online. Also, quite a bit of online. Mm -hmm. Amazing. So I've got five minutes. I have the white pieces. What could go wrong? Maybe the fact that I'm a very slow player. I'm going to try my best. I'm going to go for E4. Oh, the Karakan. Gotham Chess would be proud of you. Uh, okay. He likes Karo. He does. He loves it. I think he he would love to have it named after him. But unfortunately, Karo, Karo Khan is already a very known opening. Cannot be called the, the Levy opening. Yeah. I'm going to make a pre-move just in case. No, that didn't work. Um... My one and only pre-move attempt was going to be to try to take back on F3. <laughs> okay. 
Oh, queen d6 and all those things against my king. I don't like yeah. that. Niha, I don't like this. <laughs> I'm gonna have to prevent it. Okay. Um, and now I need to run again. This is this is not a pleasant situation. I definitely didn't play very well um, the opening stage. Ooh, my pawn. It's still okay. It's still okay. <laughs> I'm still holding on to it, but it's not the best approach against the Karakan. And now h3 hanging again. I don't want to push g4. I think I'm just gonna defend it with the rook as passive as it is. Yeah, that looks like a quite a sad. <laughs> it's very sad, right? My position is sad. You're very fast. You used eight seconds so far. Eight I seconds, Niha. Eight seconds. <laughs> I have used over a minute. No, okay, I'm gonna I trade. have no choice but first. I'm gonna trade, and now will I push and pretend that my rook is doing something on the h5? But h4. Um, yeah, let's let's try this. <laughs> Good that you're saying your moves so I can anticipate something. Yeah, I'm I'm too much of a streamer. I'm explaining what I'm doing because <laughs> I feel like I need to tell my viewers what I'm doing. But yeah, I I don't think that's the right strategy against one's opponent. I, I just I just want my viewers to know what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna insist on this trade, queen b3. Yeah, I'm gonna insist and let's see if I can chase your queen. Mm. I can't. <laughs> no more g4 i don't really want to push so i think i'm done chasing the queen for now but then how am i getting my pawn to h5 ever uh, this wasn't the best of strategies i'm gonna bring my rook here hmm Okay. Yeah, this is unpleasant. Oh, you're going for the pawn. I see. I wasn't sure if you're going to take it or not. I was hoping I have something, but possibly I don't have anything. Um, but I guess it's time for me to to run. This is what I wanted to do earlier. Oh. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> that was my one plan. It was my one idea to push this pawn since my rook is on the age file. You don't let me open it, but I feel like at least I achieved something. For sure, um, yeah. Two minutes left. Again, it's not, nice. it's not very ideal to have two minutes. I'm gonna block your queen so that you don't go back to d5. Well, I didn't yeah. manage to block it for real, but... Uh... <laughs> yeah, that was a good move, for sure. Yes. Mm -hmm. How do I continue? Oh, goodness me, I don't have much time. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna. I'm, I would need to try to play for your time. I think like I should try to flag you, but I'm. I'm not used to it. I'm so slow that normally I never play for time. I always play for time. But... You do? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna have to learn from you. I think today's gonna be the lesson for me to try to play for time a lot more. Okay, let's do this. My position is actually quite scary. <laughs> it looks scary, but that makes me think because I want to make the right moves instead of playing fast. <laughs> hmm. How do I do this? Hmm. I guess I made pre move. I made like one pre move. Uh, that, that's something I'm very proud of. <laughs> I should really speed up now. Uh, oh, and me too. How am I gonna do this? Mm, such a confusing position. Okay, I'm gonna play this. Oh. That's unpleasant. I was hoping you were gonna play knight e6 and not this. Jeez, I don't have time. I don't have time. And the position is bad. If if only the position was all right, but it's not all right anymore. My f2 pawn's gonna gonna fall as well. I think my position has collapsed. Officially mm. collapsed. 
and I can't play for time any longer. I'm gonna play one last move. <laughs> you think it's still tricky? I wish it was yeah. trickier. I wish it was somewhat more tricky than this. I'm gonna give a trick check. <laughs> yeah, okay. Now you have more time than me, so I'm gonna have to learn. I'm gonna have to learn how to play faster. <laughs> oh, I missed that. I have five seconds. <laughs> yeah, here you just have to start removing quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, I can't remove as much as you. I thought it was gonna go worse though. Um, I didn't pay much attention to the time. I wish I had more time, but the position was was so interesting that I kept calculating in the middle game. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, you just have to, like, under thirty seconds, you just have to play. Sorry. So just that would be game. your tip that under thirty seconds, I I should just try. I should just play whatever I can as fast as possible instead of wanting to find mm -hmm. the best moves, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just make some decent moves. Decent moves. Yeah. Okay, I feel like the yeah the final position. If I had more time, I would I would have chances to hold it. But without time, of course, and you have all the right to to flag me here. What will it be like for the next one? What do you think after this game? One minute versus ten. You see how slow I am, right? <laughs> yeah, sure, but I think this is a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna add one point on your side. It was. <laughs> This was a win for Nihal, and the next one will be even faster. The next game, uh, I'm gonna have to pre-move a lot, but this is not, this is gonna be challenging. I feel like the five versus one was maybe a better chance for me than than the bullet because normally I play with increments, so I never really play for time. Yeah, here you can easily play for them. I'm gonna have to learn it. I'm gonna have to learn it. Um, let's. I guess for the next one we can just set up a bullet game and, and wait it out unless I unless I manage to get yeah. help again. Let me see if I can get help. Oh, but, okay. but possibly by the time I ask we, we will already go down to ten seconds if we challenge each other for a bullet game. Yeah, sure. I think I did challenge. Sure. Yeah, I'm gonna ask in case they can. If you just make your first move and then we wait. So that the game doesn't abort. I guess we need to make one move each. And then, okay. then we can wait now and I'll ask in the meantime if... Oh. Oh, I think. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> that. Oh, sorry, I didn't know if if they would see my message that quickly. Thank you, Chesby. <laughs> that was so quick. Goodness me. Oh, okay. I shouldn't remove everything because my knight was hanging and all that. So Niha has ten seconds. I have one minute, but I normally don't play bullet. I'm very slow. I don't exactly know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh wait, it's my turn. I didn't even realize. I was like, I was expecting the queen trade. I was expecting the queen trade. Um. Oh, my rook. <laughs> You're very fast. <laughs> uh, so little I can do here. So. Oh, I had made him one. Oh. <laughs> I was so nervous because I never play bullet games. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is good. That was an adrenaline rush. 
Yeah. <laughs> Ten seconds is is a very short time. I I think f- maybe maybe if we change it to one versus twenty t- um, seconds, or how much time do you think you would need so that you can you can beat mm-hmm. me in in bullet? In fifteen twenty, maybe I have a small chance. Yeah. Fif- fifteen or twenty seconds. We could try that. Do you wanna have yeah. fifteen or twenty seconds? Let's add one more time game. But I was so nervous because normally I don't play without increment, and I was like, I'm gonna lose on time even if I have a queen up. No. I was so nervous. <laughs> um, uh, anything is fine. Like fifteen or twenty is good. Even ten is fine. Like I can try. Yeah. Um, we could give you more than ten because I thought this was a bit unfair. Um, do you want to try tw- 20 or 15 for the next one? Uh, maybe, maybe 15? That's fine, I Sure, I sure. Let's see, let's see what difference 5 seconds makes. I guess it also depends on the position because this was, this was, I think, easier for me to play when I had the open C file. I just started trading pieces yeah, in the C file. Sure. So op- opening-wise, I got lucky that I had an easy plan to go for. Yeah, I basically had to be my remote. So. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> let's oh. let's see. Um, I'm gonna try. Sure. I think if we yeah we need to start again. Oh, sorry, I I didn't realize I had to make a move. <laughs> yeah, and then this is gonna be one versus fifteen. If you make a move, wait, where's my time? I have zero seconds. Uh, that, that's not the time. What's be one <laughs> zero seconds versus <laughs> one minute? Wait, wait a moment. Um, I don't know if this is it that the game got aborted already. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Game got aborted. Okay. Um, then a rematch. A new one minute unrated. Oh no! I'm playing against someone else. That's not you. Okay, give me a second. Me, I need to get out of this game. How can I abort? I'm so sorry to Marius Darius. Um, I clicked on the wrong button. <laughs> I'm playing against someone else. I thought. I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you challenge me so that I I don't yeah. uh, mess it up. Yeah, I think I challenged you. Yes, I'm just gonna make a move and uh, now let me ask. Oh, but it took it took me five seconds to make that one move. Maybe, uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ask now. Um, and I think we need to restart the game because we we both. Yeah, I, I didn't even see that my time was ticking already. Let's let's try a new one. Oh, I yeah, didn't mean perfect. for the color. Um, we can we can also swap yeah. afterwards. Yeah, color is fine. Although so, I did better like, with the black pieces, maybe I should only play with the black pieces. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think you, you're good to go. You're good to go. Okay. Oh, the French defense. My favorite I'm opening. Oh, I forgot to pre-move the trades. That's that's something that one should always pre-move, I guess. Yeah, it's good too. Good to make safe premium in general. Mm. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing apart from pre moving many things. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this was not a good one. This opposite colored bishop <laughs> game is gonna be a thrill to play. <laughs> it's gonna be a thrill. <laughs> You're giving me you many don't... pawns, though. <laughs> I'm hoping that you would pre-move. Oh yeah, I need to learn to pre-move. You're pre-moving, and I am not. Oh goodness me! Are you gonna? Okay, I'm learning how to flag because you're pre-moving everything, and I'm not. <laughs> Goodness me, this is crazy! <laughs> oh my god! Who won? Oh. Draw? <laughs> I was just pre-moving nonsense king moves for the past 15 moves, I think. 
<laughs> yeah, like uh, to fly there, you just have to you just have to go to different squares. Thank you. So it's just a setting that you will not see any of the pieces, even though we are playing a regular game, right? Yes. Um, like I can I see the more highlights. Like that's how I do try to. Win. Oh, so do I need to say E six or does it show up on your screen no. that I moved? It, it, it's okay. Like I can read notation. In this, so. Oh, it says the notations on the side. Okay. I didn't know yeah. how it is when you play blindfold. Mm -hmm. To focus a lot here. <laughs> on this line. <laughs> mm, I wish I rem remember a single move. I'm sure you do. Okay, shop takes. Yeah, for those of you just joining, Nihal doesn't see the board, so I'm seeing the pieces, he does not. He sees squares, but without any pieces. Now, I don't remember the rest of the line, so I need to think here. Hmm. I'm already struggling to see what's happening. That's that's good news for me because I'm struggling to remember the lines. I'm just gonna play from here on my own and that may be not a good thing for me that I don't remember. Mm, okay. That, that makes sense. Okay, let's go. I see, you're going for the aggressive approach. Yes. <laughs> I'm already scared. <laughs> it's a huge hope. I think if I do this, Nihal wants to come here. That's annoying. Mm, what do I do about it? I don't want to speak too much to not disturb you. I feel like I, I can disturb your focus, your concentration if I talk too much. So I'm going to try to. No, it's fine. You sure? I'll, I'll try to. I'll try to focus as much as I can. I'm going to go for it and see what's going on. This is a this is a very chaotic position and all sorts of attacking ideas here for Niha, but I'm hoping I can hold things together. I don't know why I'm trying to remove this. Yeah. Oh, you were pre-moving? Not only blindfolded, but pre-moving? Seriously? <laughs> I, yeah, I had, I had to put before first, but I took it back. Like, I didn't want any... That's like an absolute genius. It's not only you don't see the pieces, you also are pre-moving everything, predicting what I'm gonna play. All right. Okay, so if I take, take... Hmm. This was what I saw, and I was hoping it's good. Okay. That doesn't look nice for me. It's still very tricky with your bishops being so active in the knight on g5. I feel like I can, I can lose this in one move, unfortunately. Oh, wait. I lost it. Oh, the position. I'm gonna, I'm gonna not talk then because I, I think I'm disturbing your focus. No, no, it's fine. I, I got it back. It's okay. You got it back? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh no, I'm in trouble, guys. I'm in trouble. Yeah, I record the position. I'm in trouble. How do I do this? Hmm. I'm slow. D6. Okay.
It's getting quite messy for a blindfold though, I can say. Yeah, it's very messy and I'm afraid of talking because I feel like I'm disturbing. Fine. Okay. Hmm. I'm afraid of my queen getting trapped. <laughs> That that would be unfortunate. <laughs> that would be unfortunate, but I feel like it could happen if I push my queen barely and barely has any squares. And that was my initial idea to go e5, but then rook f1. Hmm. Maybe it's still fine. Okay, that was my initial idea. It might be totally wrong, but let's go. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't see how to refute this. I hope it doesn't have a refutation, but it looks so messy. And I see the board. I don't know how messy it is for you without seeing the pieces. <laughs> hmm. Great. Feels like I'm finding something, but it's not quite trapping the queen. Okay. You have this d2 square, which is bad. Yeah, I'm hoping I'm gonna get there in case of this move. Or if this, I'm coming here. Here, here. Okay, I'm just going to play something. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. So I have queen g3 or queen h2, and I'm hoping that I get away with it, even though my queen has barely any squares. Mm -hmm. Queen g3. No, I. No, I don't. That means I'm draw. Oof. Okay, just here. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. I don't have time to take the pawn because my rook is hanging. Um, if I move the rook, where do I move the rook? Oh my. I don't have many squares for my rook either <laughs> because your minor <laughs> pieces will be targeting it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move here and hope for the best. D8. Oh, yes. I did not hang my bishop, right? No, no, no. This is what I was calculating too that you were gonna move here. Something seems winning for me here. Is something winning? Oh no, I hope you don't see it then. <laughs> it, it looks suspicious, my position. I must say, even with my own eyes, I can see it looks suspicious. I just hope that blindfolded it's more difficult. I don't know. I, I don't see the winning line, but it feels like there should be something. Yeah, I was afraid of those sacrifices because my king is going to be very weak. I just have to go for it. I don't have a choice. Uh-oh, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> uh -oh. Um, guys, Nihal doesn't see the board and he has just sacrificed the rook for this attack and exchange. Oh, goodness me. Um, is there a way out of this for me? I, j I don't have time for these moves because I'm getting mated. Oh, my. I mean, if I don't have mate, I'm busted, so... Actually, I'm not busted. I'm just now on my screen. Okay, I'm gonna go for this. I think I'm completely lost, but I'm just gonna hope that blindfolded you will not see the checkmate yet. Mm -hmm. Okay. That one. 
another check. Yeah, I guess that's just the easiest way. Uh, I'm gonna have uh, to resign it. soon. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I was hoping you would do it with the other mover there because I was gonna give up my queen, but now that you have already taken the rook, um, it doesn't make sense. I cannot. This is very pretty. I'm gonna I'm gonna play it out because it's very pretty. Yeah, okay. Beautiful checkmate, and you didn't see the board. Is it was there any moment during the game where you you weren't sure? where all the pieces were, any moment where you were confused? Because it felt like you, okay. you always had it under control. Yeah, I, I was confused all the time, but I I had an approx idea where your queen and bishop were. I knew the bishop was on c Okay, two pieces didn't move, so that helped. Mm -hmm. I felt like the game itself was interesting. I don't know... I don't know if it's a force... Yeah, I think after bishop c5, I this is where I realized I'm in trouble because... If rook uh -huh. d8, bishop e7, this is the fourth line in the game. And if I play rook e8, knight d6, and yes, it still one. looks bad. It's dangerous. Like, instead of bishop instead of bishop c5, I was also thinking what knight h7. It also existed, I think. Knight d7? No, knight h7. Knight into h7. Oh, okay. Like, um, instead of bishop uh, Hmm. I don't know how good it was, though. Like. I don't know if, if earlier I had to play it differently because it was, um, I thought for a while my pieces, especially these two knights, the knights on f6 and g4 are holding everything together. But um, after queen e2, I wasn't sure how to continue. Yes, it's a bit shaky because like I always have some tactics on g4, it on g7, these things, I thought. Yeah, that, like instantly you're threatening to, to take because this would be hanging. So I wanted to guard e6 and get the queen to f4 but then after getting the queen to f4 it, it's again tricky because you're you're attacking e6 and my queen on f4 could get yeah, into that's... trouble too i thought i still believe there should be some some genius way to trap it but i couldn't see it you think there is yeah. a way to trap it after e5 it, I don't know, like, it looks it almost fishy getting... yeah like e5 even g3 Queen, queen g3, rook h3, but still queen f4, and it's hmm. not trapped yet because rook f3, there is queen h2, and rook f1, there is queen b3. Oh, sorry, I lost you there for a moment because I was trying to add the scores, and now it's I messed that one up too. So, you were saying that in this position for trying to trap the queen, sorry, I missed the line that you were saying. I, uh -huh, like, I, I thought that you like. I was looking at some g3, queen takes g3, rook h3, queen f4. Oh, yes. with that move order. But yeah, it's still not trapped somehow. Mm -hmm. and it feels it feels so close, but it's not yes. quite getting But maybe then the way you played was the best, because you didn't have to trap my queen. Because after bishop c5, I thought it's yeah, very, like was... very dangerous, yeah, was... my position. Right. Mm -hmm. I was just playing practically like after bishop c5 maybe you should just you know, play bishop d7 and second exchange for example like, it's okay you have a good center and... so you're saying bishop oh bishop d7 like maybe you just second exchange like yeah that. I was thinking of sacrificing the exchange but I was only looking at moves like oh not bishop f5 that's a mouse slip I was looking at queen h4 but uh, of course, I didn't like that I have to take back here with the king. That that looked just bad with the f file. Uh -huh. I didn't consider that. Yeah, if I if I want to sacrifice it, bishop d7 is a lot better to take back with the rook. You are right. Yeah, I think that should be like mm. objectively this could easily be that for me. Mm -hmm. I yeah. like it. Yeah, like, I think this was a better yeah. option for me. Rook d8 was and possibly e a losing move already. And the e4 traps my bishop. Mm -hmm. True. True. Yeah, bishop d7 is strong. But actually, I still have knight h7 so I don't know, like bishop f8, rook f8, knight h7. Oh. Maybe it's actually all good for me. Though. I there see. There are some immediate yeah. The tactics everywhere. Yeah, but like even here you can go e4. e4 and if you take, I'll take back. And the bishop is trapped, you are right. Yeah, it's, it's very weird. 
<laughs> what, what a position. Yeah, maybe maybe bishop d7 and black is fine. I didn't see. I was, I was thinking of giving up the exchange, but I didn't realize that I had simply bishop d7. Developing move. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. one shall we go for next, Niha? Which, which uh, odds game or variant would you like to try? Because we don't have to play all of them. I think that we have too many on the list. You choose which ones you would like to do next. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe you can try Bone Cloud? Sure! <laughs> the Bone Cloud it is. This is for Hikaru. The Bone Cloud is coming up next. Um, can we have increment though? 3 plus 2 maybe? It doesn't have to be 5 minutes. I think I, I just um, have zero chances if we play a normal time game without increment. 3 plus 2 seems good. Mm -hmm. Okay, in this one I'm, I'm going to be able to talk a bit more because I was so worried of... of Think when you are thinking, I was worried that if I'm talking, you will you you will lose your focus, and then it's more difficult to imagine where the pieces were. I didn't want to distract you. Yeah, like it can get like I actually like to play shorter time controls in blindfold because because you have to keep your focus for a lesser amount of time. I see. Even that might help something. Huh. I have I'll no try idea. to play. Some yeah, I'll try playing some blindfold one oh. It's okay. Well <laughs> I can't even play it when I see the pieces. I don't know how it is without seeing the pieces. Yeah, it's quite it's quite tough and I'm I'm not so good at it, but it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna accept your challenge. So next up, Niha will be playing the Bonkat. Oh, you will have to play the bonkad okay. with the black pieces. I'm sorry, or we can change it to. Do you yeah, want to yeah. swap colors and play it with the white pieces? No, I'm fine. I'm yeah, bonkad with the yeah. black pieces. That is. So what is it actually? F6, king F7. Uh, e5 and king E7. Uh, e5. I play. Yeah, I will not attack your pawn because I know that you you should play the bonkad. So I'm gonna play just this. Move. Oh wait, like I didn't mean to play it. <laughs> I'm not gonna give a check because that, that's not why I played it. Because I'm not supposed to know that you're gonna play the bone cloud, but yeah, uh, pushing the e pawn and, and king e two. So normally e four king e two is the bone cloud. Yeah, yeah, okay. Like f three king f two might be another one. Yeah, another. that's another one of those strange ones. But this this one is for Hikaru. He made it very popular. Yeah, yeah. I already feel like resigning. <laughs> I think you can beat me from this position still, to be fair. Maybe I had to give an ID5 check earlier. I didn't know if to go for that or not. Okay, we have to cover some spies first. Yeah, you're holding everything together. I don't have any direct threats. I think I'm just gonna castle since I can castle at least. Can you play this? Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and those of you asking, this is already a normal game, but as normal as it can be with the bone cloud, uh, but Nihal can see the pieces, so that's an improvement. Yeah, yeah. This feels much better than blindfold. <laughs> Although you did so well in the blindfold game, I feel like at least the position was better for you. This is an interesting one to develop your pieces and the king on e7. Many, many pawn pushes, um, but it's good for the safety of your king in this case. How true, do I get true. to your king? It could be very nice if the queens were off the board. <laughs> but yeah, that's not happening. I wonder... Okay, I'm gonna take here. Mm -hmm. That's bad news for me. <laughs> I need to get to your king somehow, so I need to open up the position. And I'm hoping that maybe I can use the diagonal. Well, I almost got mated. <laughs> Back to e8. It seems to be a safe spot for now. Now I actually think I'm okay. Yeah, maybe this is fine. Maybe I misplayed this. <laughs> it's black or red. No, I, I, of course, white should be still better, but maybe it's not that yeah. much of a disaster any long anymore. Like actually, the thing with these openings, like, uh, like it feels, uh, it feels very silly, but it's quite hard to play against. It. True, yeah. Did you see when Hikaru played it against Jeffrey Zhang in the final round of the US <laughs> Championship? <laughs> and ah, Jeffrey couldn't deal with it either. Was 
that was I think it was Jeffrey, wasn't it? His opponent. Yeah, it was Jeffrey. Jeffrey was completely winning. <laughs> okay, taking the. Yeah. Um. I guess if I take with the queen, you can just play queen e7 and such. So it wasn't my idea to place the rook here, but now I'm I'm gonna go for that. Okay. So I can't take so the knight the because my rook is hanging. I guess I'm just gonna come back, but it's certainly not the best position I could achieve from the bone Calais. I feel like I should have given knight d5 check earlier when I until I still could. Uh-huh, yeah, probably. Because uh, now your knights are defending nicely. Good thing for me, you still cannot castle even though the king is back in the or on the original <laughs> square. You still cannot castle. I need to hurry up though. I keep forgetting that it, this is a blitz game. Yeah, I'll happily go king f15 g7 right now. Thank you so much, Chess Bay. Apparently we are on the front page of chess.com right now. Nihal, our match is being broadcast to everyone on chess.com because they thought that this, this match is an exciting one. Thank you so much, everyone. And thank you, Chess Bay, for arranging that. Thank you so much. This was the Bon Cloud Chess Bay. He, uh, it's for Hikaru. In Hikaru's honor, Nihal had to play the Bon Cloud. He's got a pretty decent position. I don't know how to beat the Bon Cloud. I don't think I have an advantage any anymore. I think I'm actually going to play this more often. <laughs> You're gonna play the Bon Cloud more often? <laughs> I think so. It's not that bad, actually. Yeah, I think, I think you're fine. I. I surely didn't make the most out of this. Mm. Yeah, but it's tough actually, I think. It's really tough to make the most out of this. I'm also low on time, so I'm gonna have to hurry up. No, I think position should be quite equal. Yeah, it looks like that. You're gonna have your king hidden on g7. I haven't achieved much. I was too slow. My play was too slow. And I should pay attention to not losing this because uh, if anyone can do better here, it's possibly black after rook d4. Uh, yeah, I think I'm a bit better now. But okay, it's still far from over. Hmm. I don't like this, but I'm gonna have to try. Okay, can I? Can I survive? Wait, oh, I got more time! Thank you so much! <laughs> I didn't know this part of the host. Thank you. I think this chess bay is magic. Thank you, chess bay. I apparently oh. <laughs> will possibly lose the game by position two if I continue playing uh, not the most accurate moves, <laughs> but at least I'm not losing on time. Thank you, chess bay. Oh, that's... Now, Nihal, you need to show how to win this endgame. Active rook. Bishop versus knight, let's see, right? <laughs> yeah, like, I don't think that two rook is going to remain for a long time. Mm -hmm. so. What do I do about this? I'm thinking whether to just attack the rook or if I need to react to this. Yeah, it's not an easy endgame to win, but I think I have an edge because, because of the bishop. Yeah, the bishop here is a strong one. I have too many pawns on the light squares already. Mm -hmm. So I don't like yeah. this much for me, but I'm gonna have to try to survive. Mm -hmm. I need my knight somewhere on the queen side. Yeah, Ideally. I think for now I only survive because your knight is not somewhere here on the queen side attacking my pawns. You are not... something a bit interesting. Mm -hmm. You're not trading on d1, that's the one move I pre-moved. I was like, okay, this is gonna be a <laughs> capture, I pre-move. <laughs> I'm gonna pre-move this. Thanks. It's always good to remove captures in general. Okay. Captures remove them always. Okay, I'm gonna mm. I'm gonna try to. So this I'm always gonna have to remove rook takes d1. Uh, how do I activate my pieces? I feel like my knights need better post, but it's not that easy to move them forward. I'm gonna oh. I'm gonna make this quite committal move, but I hope that it will give some squares for my knights at least. Yeah, actually, I think that's. Quite a good move. I should probably not have all this actually. I'm I'm hoping this is good. So now Nihal can have a, a pass pawn. A 
protected pass pawn, but that will give me the d4 square for my knight, and my e3 knight is blocking nicely the pass pawn. Chesbeat, thank you so much. You shouldn't have. <laughs> yeah, we have a, we have many people watching this this match. Niha, no pressure at all. No pressure. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to play e4. I also didn't want to play this, but this looks like the lesson. <laughs> Thank you so much to Mary Chess for the raid. Niha, how much do you know about Twitch and raids and, and such? So you, you know that like from one channel, you can go to another channel. So now uh, Mary has brought over her audience to ours. So now even more people are watching us. Um, 10,000 of you guys are tuning in. Thank you so much for watching our match with Nihal. Nihal is a prodigy. He became a grandmaster at the age of 14. And now he's still very young. He's 16. He's one of the top grandmasters in the junior category. Nihal, I think since 10,000 people are watching you, uh, can you tell them about your goals? I, I know I was you at the start of the stream, but now there are a few more people. Um, what is your dream? What, what would be your next goal and I guess the overall dream is to become a world champion, isn't that? Yes, but for now I just want to just want to get back to playing chess all the board. Like that's that's it for now I guess. To get back to playing chess over the board. Yeah, like feels a bit nicer, I guess. When was the last time you played an over the board tournament? Uh, it was in white last year, so it has been a year. It's been a year. Almost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, I guess for most grandmasters it's it's similar. But as you said, you have played a lot online. What was your last online tournament? The last online tournament was, in, I guess it was it finished on December twenty second. Oh. The world. Event. So just recently. Mm hmm. How did you do in your previous online tournaments? Because I know that this one is, of course, very important, um, an odds match against Anna. But other than this very important event, how did the rest of the tournament go? Yeah, yeah, it was very good for me, actually, fortunately. I, I did win, I did win a few tournaments. Well done. You, you're so humble that you would even say that you won, like, your previous five tournaments. I don't know how many exactly, but you have won some really difficult, really important tournaments. Yes, I somehow managed. Like, it was, yeah, it was quite good. You're very humble. You're very humble. How will I defend this endgame? Or will I... Can I be even ambitious? I need to activate my king. But your knight is coming to e4. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think you're much worse. But I also don't think I'm worse. Yes, I think it's it's balanced. Mm -hmm. um, I, I wish... just like my bishop and your queenside pawns. Yeah, the queenside pawns are not ideal to be on light squares. And I definitely mm -hmm. need to hurry up. Yeah, that's my hope. Yeah, my viewers are telling me that he won the World Youth Championship, but I cannot pull that out of Nihal because he's too, he's too humble to tell you guys that he's, he's a world champion. Right? <laughs> Congratulations! Yeah, thank you. That's amazing. Um, I'm gonna move the king up. In terms of where people can find you, I have a comment. If you guys want to follow Nihal, I have his Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube channel in the comment. That's exclamation mark Nihal. That's where you can follow him. Can we expect you to start streaming at some point? Do you think you that would be something that you're interested in? Yeah, sure. Like, I have to go back. Uh... I did actually stream the title that I had this time. Amazing! So, um, Good job. But yeah, it was not so great. But it was fine. Like, uh, I'm just starting to stream, just getting used to it. How do you find streaming? Is it difficult? Yeah, it's very interesting. It's also not so easy, I, I have to admit that. Yeah, and you don't want to draw. I was like, I'm offering a repetition of moves, but Nihal doesn't want to make a draw, so I need to come up with a plan, guys. I need to come up with a plan because he re he refused my draw offer there. <laughs> okay, let's at least. Yeah, and I can't take take back, can't take back with the knight any longer. Okay. I have nothing hard to say. I'm trying to attack this guy. They have five pawn. 
You should use it. Just definitely not something I wanted. <laughs> I have to do it. Anyway. Oh, but now my king. Yeah, yeah I, I also it. didn't want this for my king. I this is not ideal either. Can try to come back. Okay, I'll push. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Might have been stupid. Okay. I made a pre-move. <laughs> <laughs> wow, and I made a pre-move. Um, yeah, I still don't like that so many pawns of mine are on light squares, but at least the f5 pawn is on the square where I need it for my knight to be attacking it. Oh, you're giving me the pawn because I would lose my knight, right? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, -oh. uh Okay, panic. Come back <laughs> with the king. <laughs> Panicking. Hey, Curren Currently panicking. <laughs> I don't like this anymore. I don't like this anymore. I'm gonna run out of possible moves. And this is when I would need more time too, but I don't have more time. Okay, let's go for it. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's an issue. I think I'm lost. I think I'm lost. Okay, I lost on time too, but I was like, I think the position now is collapsing because my king is very busy on the right on on the king side, and this breakthrough. So, like, if I I don't think you're lost. You think it's not? It looks scary enough for me to consider it lost because if I take with the knight, just to show to my viewers, this king and pawn and game is lost because I can't catch this pawn. I have although. Wait, wait. Yeah, you C5. have your own I I did not consider c5. We both were it queen. It does much more of a bluff, actually, it seems like. You, your bluff was so strong, I thought I'm in a lost position and I was gonna resign. So yeah, it's not that I lost on time, I was literally gonna either make one more move or resign. I thought this is a losing position for me, because I thought if I take with a pawn, your a pawn is too strong. And that, that minor piece and game is bad, I think. Should be bad. like after my take c4, maybe I can try a4. a4 instead of okay. taking immediately, yeah. Uh huh. But you have at least knight a3. And... Okay, it's not lost at least, I guess. Oh, it looks bad though if I need to play this. Yeah. I mean, you're like, king. you could have just gone c4 earlier. I didn't realize that after knight takes c4, I thought this is completely lost because I was like, take stakes and a4 and I can't catch your pawn, but I forgot I have my own pawn break with c5 and the, the b pawn would promote if you take that. So c5, yeah, a3. Actually, I mean, at best I get a draw, I guess. I should not have believed you. I think this is the grandmaster bias. When you play against a stronger player, at least it happens to me that I I always think that you see more than I do. So when you played when you played um, that breakthrough, I was like, "Oh, I blundered this. I'm lost." Yeah, that's not true. <laughs> it works in your favor. It works in your favor that I always think that you see more than I do. Does it happen to you when you play against um, grandmasters that are even higher rated than you? Let's say twenty seven hundred. Who were some of the strongest opponents you have faced? Uh, or the Buddha or online? Both. Uh, okay. In online, I have faced uh, I have faced a lot of strong players. I've faced quite a few top players like uh, Hikaru, Magnus, Leslie. So I played quite a bit. Not not a bad field. Yeah. What's your what was your best result against either of them? Uh, okay, winning a game. I guess. W like... Which which one of them have you beaten, or have you beaten all of them? Maybe you have a a victory against each and every one of them. I guess so, yes. You beat all of them? You beat Magnus, you beat Hikaru, you beat Wesley? What am I doing here playing a match against you if you're crushing the top grandmasters in no, the world? No, I mean, I have won, I have won like a game. Yeah, I have won a few games, but of course they smash me. Well, it's, yeah, it's still have, very I'm impressive. Managing. <laughs> this is still very impressive. I think my viewers are just realizing why this is an odds match because I would I would have zero chance if this was normal, if this was just a normal game. Magnus I have played only in Bullet. In Bullet? Yeah. How does it feel to play against Magnus? Yeah, it feels great. He's he's very strong. Like he plays very good chess in Bullet also. It's amazing. Did you also play Bullet against Hikaru? 
Or oh, that was no. Blitz? Yeah, against Hikaru, it's usually Blitz. Blitz. Like, I have played a few Blood games, but not much. I would I would like to play some Blood against Hikaru. Maybe. Oh, I'm I'm gonna forward your your challenge in case in case he he has the time for another match because um I'm sure he would be he would be up for a similar challenge. Well, without the odds, of course, because yeah, that would be a proper bullet match. Maybe one day, maybe one day that would be amazing to see. I was just curious if when you play against players higher rated than you, which in your case doesn't happen too often because you're tw over twenty six hundred rated, but do you sometimes but it think? It, de it definitely does happen quite a bit. It's, it's very true. Do you also have this bias, what happened to me at the end of the game, that I was just assuming, oh, this has to be winning because you played it, so it has to be good. Like, Do you sometimes fall into this too, that you assume that your opponent mm -hmm. sees more? Yes, yes, for sure. Like, like the thing is, I think if you're playing a Vigo play, you'll be much, you'll be much more alert of blunders. Mm -hmm. But like, it's, sometimes it's just hard to believe that a stronger player will blunder. Yeah, yeah, true. Especially, it does true. Happen. yeah, very true. Um, like Magnus's mouse slip and such. But I guess if it's a if it's a smaller mistake, then it's it's more like oh maybe they 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 see something. Maybe is there a trap? Is there a trick? Uh, and not yeah, that yeah. it's a blunder. Mm -hmm. Which one shall we go for next? Do you want to try the chess variants, or shall we continue with the crazy openings? You also have H three A three. As your uh, opening moves? Like, I don't mind. You're rich. I feel like h3, a3 after the bone cloud maybe is, is similar, but at the same time, at least you can castle. <laughs> at least you can castle, because yeah. this one was bad for the king too, not just for the tempi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like I think h3, a3 is much, much better than the bone cloud. Like, actually, the funny thing is you can turn it into a head hop. You can turn it into a decent head hop. Like, you just play b3, g3, bishop, b2, bishop, g3, e3, d3. Wait, are you saying so, h3, a3 will be not giving me any advantage? I mean, definitely some, but not much. Oh, no. Okay, we are, we are deleting that. Guys, <laughs> Nihal will just have a normal game. He's going to play a hedgehog. <laughs> this is not cool. Right, let's let's go for the one that some of the viewers are requesting now, the thinking out loud. So that is a format I've never played, but I'm curious how it will work. If Nihal constantly has to be telling us what is he playing for. So if he has a threat, a plan, what is he doing? So he will be telling me what he's aiming for, telling you guys and telling me. Let's see if that can help me play better by avoiding his threats. I guess... Like, should I tell all my traps as well? You're gonna have to tell us everything. You're gonna have to play with open cards. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna, in this final position, you would need to say C4, but possibly it doesn't work because you can also create a pass pawn. Imagine, uh -huh. Uh imagine. <laughs> I don't know how this will be. We're gonna try. It's a fun format, I think, but I don't know how it will work out. Um, maybe let's make it three plus five, since you will have to be. I, I'm gonna wait for you to explain, and then I guess it's better if we have um, uh, three plus five or five plus two. Just I think we need we will need more time because I'm gonna wait for you to explain <laughs> your thoughts. Um, uh, and... Five plus two is fine, I guess. Yeah, that's fine too. Uh... Um, those of you who are asking who who is running the production, it's it's me who's running the production. So I'm the one to blame for my title. I, I gave you the title of world number six under twenty because that is where you are right now, number six in the world among junior players. And I am a retired. I am. That's my title. <laughs> it's very true, guys. So don't blame the producer because the producer is me. Kafka saying follow him on Twitter and Instagram. Absolutely, do follow Nihal on Instagram, Twitter, and he also has a YouTube channel. If you use the comment exclamation mark Nihal, that's where you can follow him. Yeah, I guess I'll start streaming more. Like, I should slowly, I should slowly learn it. Like, I'm not so good at it. Good, amazing. I'm, I'm sure that your fans would love it, and I think, I think you are gaining new fans here in my community too. Amazing. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so I just have to think of 
Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I don't know what I'm planning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think of the French defense, Nihal? It's bad. <laughs> what? <laughs> you also played it against me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to go knight d2 actually. The plan is to. Okay, I don't know how to explain knight d2. It's just, it's just a different way of developing the knights. On oh, this line. What do you think of how... this line? It's very tricky. Like, I have no idea what to do. Good. <laughs> Thank you for telling us. <laughs> it's one of my favorite lines. It's nothing special, but I feel like it's it's a pet line, and it it kind of is mm -hmm. unique. I think I know what the point is. It's quite smart. Mm -hmm. like, What's the point? Like L if knight g f three, I guess you want knight of c c for knight d seven. Then now my knight is on f three. Yeah, you can't push the f pawn any longer. So that's why I'm just going to play c three. Uh huh. Very true. Um, yeah, I did expect that, and I did not know what to do. <laughs> I like this thinking out loud. I like this format. And now DC file doesn't look so great, so I'm just going to develop my knight finally. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm making a horrible queen. A bit risky. Okay. So E takes D5. Yeah, now I'm gonna was... think out loud too, because I'm like I, I was expecting E5. Why did you yeah, take on D5, Nihal? Tell me, <laughs> tell me so that I can right. react. <laughs> yeah, I just didn't want to play E5 knight D7, and then my knight gets hit with some G5, G5 on the side. So. Mm -hmm. Just okay. keeping the position more open. I see. And now I'm going to come like Bishop D3 or Bishop C4 castle. How do you expect Slave. me to take back on d5? <laughs> Maybe you can help me. Uh, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, can take back there. there are lines when I can take with the queen, but now I'm like, queen takes bishop c4. Do I want to give you that tempo? Um, so I think I'm going to take with the knight. Okay. Mm. Bishop d3, knight f4 is a bit of I like it, yeah. <laughs> I like it for black. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to put it here for now. Not so happy about this, but it's okay. It's just. Yeah, I have completely forgotten about gaining an opening advantage. <laughs> I like this honest chess. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my aim anymore. Okay, now I'm going to take C5 because I don't want the IQ to be here. Mm -hmm. That's the isolated queen spawn, just... Just a second, I was just fixing the audio. I think now it should be better. Um, okay, maybe it's just that I'm not aware. Um, I was just increasing your volume. I think, I think we are better now. I don't know if on your end it's possible to increase the microphone, but I, I increased it more on, on my end, so hopefully... Hopefully people yeah, hear like, you, because they want to hear your uh, thoughts more than mine. <laughs> I think we are good, like, yeah. Yeah, when, when I'm playing, I I sort of like, when I speak when I'm playing, my volume is really low for some reason. It's normal. Like, Once you start streaming, you I think you will become like us. We are maybe too loud, if anything. <laughs> yeah, okay, bishop c5. I have 90 for our castle, so I'll just cancel. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nike four is coming next. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, I'm I'm gonna castle two. Okay, Nike four, queen e two, rook b one. Uh oh. Okay. Um. See, even Please if I know on. this is what Nihal is aiming for, and I know this setup, so I would I would predict that, but it doesn't help me that much. Um. I think it's gonna be trickier if you actually, if you would actually go for a trap, and then you explain to me what's the trap. Okay, I'm actually going for something that everyone likes, I guess. Oh, okay, tell us about H4, Nihal. <laughs> tell us about okay, H4. I'm just going to push it all the way to H6. And, okay. And try to make it. Thank you for letting me know. 
Also, I can go like knight g5, queen h5 sometimes. Oh, um, I don't like any of that. I don't like any of that, so I'm gonna see how you react to this move in case I can at least get some trades in. Yeah, that's a decent move. I'm just going to go here. It's yeah, not a passive to move. To... I'm going to tell that move. So you didn't want to trade the bishop for my my knight and get my queen to f4. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I'll just say that I have bad intentions. You have bad intentions? What yeah. what what are the intentions on that diagonal? Is it knight g5 again? Neha, you need to tell me your plan. <laughs> yeah, knight g5. Knight g5, okay. <laughs> Alright, my king. My king. <laughs> Okay, if you play at six, I should probably not play some g4, but even that looks. Yeah, g4 looks too much. g4. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> okay. okay, I need to think. I need to think because Niha is going for the attack here. This, do I have e5 or f5? I need to somehow react to this, I feel like. But that's weakening a lot my position. Maybe it's. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's still possible though. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try because I'm scared. I don't want you to attack me. Okay. Now, now I think I'm almost winning the bash. Almost winning? <laughs> oh! I, 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 looks too I forgot that after h6 you can take first on f4 because I was hoping I'm gonna chase you back after h6. You need to go back. Yeah, I think h6 bishop f4 and then the pawn on e6 is hanging. Now I understand why you were happy about my move. I was like, oh, I'm a genius. No, I'm just a very silly person. Uh oh. I mean, it's really tough, anyways. Can I still hold this, Nihal? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's tough. I'm better for sure. I think with how much I need to, I need to see. Okay. I'm guessing that I should have something simple here. How like simple? Like rookie one six, bishop by four, queen at four, and not. Uh huh. Too happy, although that must also be good. Like the thing is, after bishop takes a four, queen takes a four, knight e six, my bishop on c four is hanging. Yeah, luckily my queen on f4 um, is helping in this so, case. Yeah, for this reason I'm just going to play g3. Just kick the knight first and then come rookie on next one. Oh, that's unpleasant. That's very unpleasant. I, it's a bit risky to play me there. Okay. I'm gonna come I here to defend. Hmm. Yeah, okay, you're still holding on somehow. Yeah, holding on by a thread. I wish I could have more time. I don't know if Chesbay is still here with the magical powers because I feel like for the thinking out loud game, I, I want to keep listening to your thought process because I find it very instructive, but I'm going to run out of time. Uh, it's actually not at all easy for me, again. I mean, I'm better for sure, but okay, I'm just going to go here and not think much. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Not think much. I see. Don't feel like thinking much. I'm gonna offer a trade. Yeah, that was the problem. Okay, I take and go here. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to win that e6 pawn somehow, but I have no idea how. To be honest. Yeah, I hope you can't win it, and I'm trying. Really? I'm trying to win a tempo here. I feel like now we have both switch to thinking out loud process and it is more like a demonstration game as you guys are saying in the chat uh, i still find it interesting this format but i need mm -hmm. to survive my pawn on e6 is a bit of an issue yeah your time is the biggest issue i think oh. yeah i would need more time i i might I not be that it. lucky this time to get it you know Oh, wow. you lost time! <laughs> I wanted more time, but I think you lost time. Uh-oh. Okay, <laughs> we need to hurry up. Uh, goodness me, how am I protecting the pawn, though? Uh, I wanted more time, but I don't have... <laughs> Thank you, Chesme. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to survive, though, because I don't have time either. We both have no time. <laughs> we both have no time. And now, now actually, there's a tactic. 
because yeah, I'm worried. I already, I already pre-moved it. <laughs> pre-moved because this is, <laughs> this is bad. This is bad for me. Yeah, I'll just give this check. Oh, I didn't see Still that. <gasps> uh oh, <laughs> if I take. Oh, I'm getting checkmated. Oh. And Nihan no, doesn't have the time to explain to us how it's winning. <laughs> He's gonna play the move it's, simply. I give it my check first. Like, it's not a forced checkmate, but. Almost by force, like knight g5, nexus knight f7, knight f6. It looks forced. It's not it looks... quite forced yet. Actually, this is even better. Like, I take f5 check first. Oh! <laughs> I'm gonna play it out till the mate, because this is pretty. Just seeing if I can pre more mates, but I don't think... You will pre-move okay, mate? Yes. Not only just make the moves, but you're gonna pre-move it. I'm trying to, but I don't think it's fine. <laughs> Like now, I'm just going to go knight g5. I might lose on time, that'll be bad. Okay, queen h6 check. Run, king, run! <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't have where to run though. Knight f7, I'll give you the piece. That's, that's oh. <laughs> You're winning the piece. I couldn't mate, I should have mated, but okay. Now I'm just trading everything and. I think, I think uh, you will be able to win. Uh, bishop up yeah. with. Bishop and four pawns up. At least I didn't get checkmated. I, f I felt like there was gonna be a forced mate because it looked like it looked like a mate position, but maybe there's no mate. Of course, this is mm -hmm. bad. Like it's it's completely lost. But I was wondering if there was any forced mate. Do you think there was any? There must have been for sure. I mean, I had no time to see it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Chesme, for taking the house time away too. At least it was more balanced because earlier it was only me who had no time. <laughs> yeah, maybe after 95 there's no force mate. It still, of course, is terrible and uh, white is winning. I was just wondering if there was any mate. I just wanted to... Just wanted to play some moves. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Congratulations, you have won the last three games. You are on a winning streak. I'm gonna have to stop you. I'm gonna need to check which which one is my best option. I feel like Fog of War, because we will not be able to play all of them. I feel like if you like chess variants, Fog of War may not be my chance. What about three checks? Shall we try three checks? Yeah, sure. Like we go to the variant server, right? Yeah. Or right here. Uh, I think three checks is, is just right here. Uh huh, yeah. Oh, and uh, my viewers are asking, and I think they are right, that we should try to the one that's uh, you playing with your left hand. But for so now, the three, the three checks just a normal one. You can you can use the mouse normally. Okay, okay. Have you played many games in three checks? I have played a bit, but I'm not an expert at all. Okay, I have played a few as well, but I don't know much. Yeah, my best variant is Atomic. That's what. Hmm. That's what I've played the most. Sorry, which which variant? I didn't. I cut out uh, for a second for me. I've played Atomic a lot. Atomical. People were telling me to add that too, but I have never played it. I don't know how is that. Is it like the pieces yes. explode? Yes, yes. Oh, I'm gonna I have to try that out. I think Levy plays it a bit. Hmm. Let me see if I can challenge you, or will I wait for you to challenge me for three checks? Uh, okay, um, I can challenge it. For what time control? Um, the same as this one, or th or three plus three plus two is fine too. I think as long as there's increment, I I feel like I have some chances. <laughs> Although the the few games I won was because of time, the um, the time odds, the one minute versus ten second. That's the only game I won. Maybe I should I should have just kept the time odds forever. So this is three checks. <laughs> I'm gonna have to just adjust the board uh, in a moment because it cut the side of it. One moment. The board one two left I'm gonna make a move in a second before it aborts yeah, sure. okay we've got this three checks let's see let's see how good is Nihal at three checks I like this variant a lot it's one of my favorites but I I don't have any sophisticated strategies I just always go for the same sacrifices 
Okay. And that's that prevents that prevents my sacrifice because my main idea is bishop c4, bishop f7. Okay, I you, can't afford to. <laughs> you prevented it. Yeah, French is actually really good in this one. Yeah, right? You've just said that the French defense is a bad opening, but against three checks, it's one of the best, isn't it? Yeah, but also in classical, I'm just joking. Like, I, I do like French a lot. I know, I know you were joking, but uh, I think I think the viewers appreciated it because there are a lot of people who, who don't like the French defense much, much or just pulling my leg for it because it's one of my favorite openings of all time. Yeah, like I used to play French a few years ago. Hmm. Now I still play it from time to time, but hmm. quite rare. I see. Like my main, my main openings used to be knight of and French at one point. Knight of and French. And now it's like now it's like e5 and carol, so it has completely changed. <laughs> I play this the same setup that you are doing now. That's how I play this too. So I'm just trying to see how can I refute my own setup because this is exactly what I do in three checks. Oh, as black. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I I I try to do this setup always to keep my king safe. Okay. I'm just going to go. Here. Mm -hmm. I think three I can checks. give you that pawn. I hope in three checks I don't mind too much the pawn. I'm never taking that. <laughs> You're not taking it. You're not taking the bait. No, no. I was hoping. Oh. I'm like, oh, free pawn, take it. No, <laughs> Nihal is going for the attack. He's going for my king. That I don't like. No, 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 no. Go back, please. Or are you going to e5 if I attack you? Wait a second. See, I'm yeah, already scared good. because this is a grandmaster playing knight g4. I'm already scared. If it was just a random game, I would be like, no, nah, I'm sure I, I'm fine here. <laughs> no, it's just trash. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's seriously not, not a great game. I see. Thank you for being that honest. <laughs> Yeah, now I don't know what to do. If you stop 95, I thought I'd not. Yeah, I'm trying to just prevent that, and then I feel like I have a good position with the central control and my bishop developing. Okay. Peace sacrifice. I'm going to take it with the knight because I don't want to receive any checks. Are you going to give up yes. your queen for a check? Because I feel like <laughs> that could be a tricky one. Um, I'm going to give up my queen for one check at least. Are you seriously giving up your queen? No, no. <laughs> okay, I was like, wow, that's brave. I'm uh, definitely not. That's very brave if you do. Okay, how can I go for checks though? Hmm, I don't have too much time again. I'm spending too much time thinking. I come here, it takes. I don't like that. I guess... Oh, are you trying to play bishop d6? No, I think I'm just gonna develop. I hope I'm not blundering anything. Okay, okay, that. Now I have some ideas. You do? Yes. But not... nothing much. Yeah, Boy. nothing much. I like, I can give two checks, but I don't see where the third one is. Hmm. Okay, what to do? We'll just play position. I see. Positional chess. I'm, I'm gonna offer a queen trade because I'm a piece up and I feel like that should be fine for me. Yeah, that makes sense. Although in three checks, I don't. I, I, I'm not sure <laughs> that that helps actually. I don't mind that. <laughs> I do, but I have a check, but that would give the piece up. Um, so does that make sense, or do it does not? I'm just gonna go for trade. Yeah, I have three more bets. Yeah. I need to speed up. I'm always too slow. It can be noted that I don't really play the speed chess. <laughs> yeah, I think my only hope is time. Wait, my position is quite bad. Okay. 
I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm just trying to get to your king somehow. Yeah, it's good. Like, my position is fine now, this way. But it's still not a war. So. Yeah, it's not that bad. I mean, it's it's a piece down, but I haven't given a single check. Yeah, me neither. So in terms of three checks, we aren't doing too well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, that's fine. I'm just going to play as if it's a normal game. Oh, like a normal I don't game. See, I don't see any checks happening anytime soon. True. Yeah, uh, we kind of ruined it. <laughs> the three checks. Um, well, oh, and I don't happen have at any time. time. Yeah. How am I going to push there? Our kings are too safe. <laughs> yeah, this is a normal end game now. Um, but I need to remember that in case there will be checks, that still matters. So yeah. it's a tricky one because we are playing as if it was an endgame at the same time. Once you give one or two checks... It, it changes a lot. Yeah, it changes everything. Okay. Wait. Where is my third check? It's so sad. <laughs> Still no checks. We have played twenty-seven moves already. Oh wait, their yeah. first check. Oh, <gasps> and it's more than one check. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Please, no! I'm losing. Am I? Oh! <laughs> that was nice. I didn't see. I didn't see. It was forced even because after e four, I don't have a way out, do I? Yeah, like actually. Yeah, after e4, okay, you have to take f e4 to try something. f e4, but then you you go d e4, king e2, and king e2, and you only you only need one more check. I only need one more, but how do I get it? Like I should get it some point, like e3, rook f1, check king e6. But you can go rook f8. I don't know. Yeah, I so didn't see that coming. I was. I was already in endgame mentality, so I was like, yeah, I have an active king, I'm bringing my rook to the b file. I was like, you have to play c6, then I go rook b4, trade the rooks, and life is great. So I was like, I'm gonna trade the rooks and I'm good. Oh man, yeah. I forgot, e4. But you're right, yeah. I still need to take it and try. I just, I, I guess, I ju it just happened so out of the blue, I, I forgot. And I kept telling... The viewers too that this is three checks so even though we are playing an endgame this is three checks yeah king d3 is a mistake then because i kind of walked into this mm -hmm. or i need to yeah. i need to go back after, after e5, e5. nicely done yeah active king is bad in three checks apparently it's bad you know what's the, there's actually it's actually a funny thing in the last position like even if i make some waiting like but even if I make a waiting move like g6 in the last position, I think I'm still losing. Um, after king e3? Yeah, like king e3, rook c3, bishop c3, like... Oh, you don't even have to yeah. give that check immediately, but if you if you make a waiting move, I still have no way yeah. out. Ooh, because wherever I go, I think... there's a check, yeah. And bishop d4, there's c5, so... Ooh. Like... <laughs> okay, so you can give up a rook and then wait one more move, give me time to do whatever I want, and I still cannot get out of it. Nice. Yeah. Oh, but after... No, I was thinking of the bishop d4 at least king... No, king d2 e3. I don't have a way out of this. There's always something. Yeah. There's always one check. So, and we learned something. We learned something. I think since we were not going to be able to play all of them, the next one will have to be the... The one where you play with your other hand, that you will need to play the okay. game with your left hand. So that should, be a, that should be a faster. Hand. That has to be a time game. You're right. Yes, and I, I guess I'm gonna have to ask for time ones in general because you saw how how slow I am. So just because you play with your other hand, I think you're still faster than me. What what well, time mode would be like? Not too much. Not. I don't mean that you need to give me the the ten second versus one was too much. Um, what time mode do you think would be decent? Like one versus thirty might be okay. I don't Sorry, know. I don't, I don't hear you well. Maybe one minute versus thirty seconds would be. One versus okay. thirty, and you're playing with your left hand. 
Yeah, it'll be it'll be very tough, but I can try. We can try a few time mode games for the last for the final games. I feel like because that was so much fun at the start and and it's exciting to watch too. I think so. It's one minute versus thirty seconds, and with your left hand. Yeah. Great. <laughs> that will be quite close to me. You have a lot of time in comparison to the previous time mods. Um, but have true. you ever have you ever played with like? I guess it doesn't make sense to try to use your other hand with the mouse, does it? I mean, like some sometimes I had to play when I'm like having snacks with the other hand. But yeah. Oh. Let's see. Let's see how difficult it is or not. So we're gonna play a time mode game where Nihal can only make moves with his left hand. He's right-handed. I'm left-handed, so I would be, I would be okay with that one. But like, it's left hand versus it. left hand. Oh, I just moved my laptop. Sure. Second. I've never tried to have the mouse on the left side at least. Absolutely. Yeah, make it as convenient as possible. And I'm going to adjust the camera to that or wherever. Just let me know if you're sitting where you want to uh, be sitting. Oh, that's fine. I can adjust it. Just let me know if you're sitting where you will be. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I can just keep it straight though. Okay, my mouse is at least wireless. So that helps. Can you show us the mouse you use? I think many of yeah. the viewers are always curious what gaming mouse, what type of mouse is that? Uh, this is a Logitech G304. I know nothing about about computer and, and mouse in general, but I'm sure that's a good one. I'm sure that you, you've done your research on which ones are faster, because for bullet chess, you do need a a good mouse, a good precision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, uh, it's good for my hands. Like my hands are very small, so it's hmm. quite good for me. I see, I see. Let's see if you can use it with your left hand. I, I sure hope that I'm gonna win some time, but maybe you will be just as fast. I don't know how much of an odds this is for you. So we're gonna have a bullet challenge. I'm gonna have to adjust the board again. My left hand is really weak. Okay, I'll try. I think you will do well. My guess is that it will be barely noticeable that you are using your other hand. <laughs> That's my guess. What do you guys think? Let me know. Let us know in the chat what do you think. Will it affect Nihal that he has to be playing with his left hand? Um, whenever you can, if you challenge me for bullet, and I, I guess then we wait for 30 seconds, uh -huh. or I can challenge you. Uh, I just need to see if the board appears well on the screen, because for three checks it looked different. Uh-huh, okay. I'm gonna accept it, but I'll possibly have to adjust the board first. Yeah, sure. So um, do I wait for Actually, it looks good enough, I, but I can, yeah, I guess I can make it a bit bigger because for three checks, somehow it wasn't the same, mm -hmm. same size. Yeah, because of the three pluses. Also. Yeah, the pluses on the left side, true. I'll just put this back right it was. Um, yeah, I think, I think this is good. Mm. Uh, I guess we'll have to wait for your 30 seconds to run out because I don't know. Yeah, at least okay. that's not too long. I'll just make my first move. Yeah. So this is going to be 30 seconds versus one minute. And Nihal is playing with his left hand. Tell me your predictions in the chat, everyone. I wonder, I wonder what's your prediction for this game. So far, Nihal is crushing me. I only won one game. That was one minute versus 10 seconds every other game. I was in trouble. I was in trouble. I'll have to pre move quite a bit. Your turn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh I wasn't ready for pre moving and stuff. I don't know I don't know why I took that, but <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, I don't know why I did that. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, I was pre-moving the capture, that was so bad! Oh no, okay, I have no chance now. 
Well, you still have no time. <laughs> you still have no time. But goodness me, I was pre-moving. Because I, I always pre-move captures, but the Ampasan is not the same type of capture. That was that was bad. <laughs> I'm actually lagging a bit. Are you? Okay, I, then I have some chance. <laughs> then I have some chance because of the lag. <laughs> Guys, this was bad. This was bad. Uh, what do I do? Just don't get mated, Emma. Don't get mated. Hold on to your queen and king. Uh oh. Uh, no, the piece I didn't want to sacrifice. Oh no. Uh oh. I'm in trouble. I'm in deep trouble. <laughs> Yes. Well done. <laughs> oh. That pre-move was awful. I'm gonna ask for a rematch with this time control because I'm just I'm just learning how to do properly the pre-moves and I was so proud of myself for pre-moving a capture, but an on capture is not the same because I don't have anything on that square. That you have to be careful, yeah. <laughs> that was such a bad pre-move. <laughs> Like, well done. Like, we can't even frame with the other thing actually. Like, like sometimes you don't expect an person. For example, like I have pawn on e4, you have knight on e7. I also have pawn on e5. You just play uh -huh. f5, and like if you frame with knight f5, also it's bad because like e take f6, knight f5 can happen. Okay. Like, even the other way. Yeah, you are right. Yeah. I shouldn't frame with everything. Um, yeah, okay. like. And plus, you have to be careful. Like I have fallen for that many times. So. Really? Yeah. We're gonna play a few more of these, I think, for the end. How does it feel to play with your left hand? Was it any different? Like, do you notice that you are much slower, or is it any difference? I mean, okay, I'm definitely quite a bit slower, but I'm just a bit worried that I'm lagging. Like, oh, yeah, that's a bigger uh, issue perhaps than the mouse if there's a lag. Yeah, yeah. Like I do lag on chess down from quite a few times. So. Hmm. Sometimes it just happens. We could try a few more games, and and I, 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 I think it's already getting late there for you. So we could play one or two more games with this time control if you like it, and and left hand, yeah, yeah. and see. Sure. Maybe if I don't pre-move and blunder my nice straight away, I will have a bit more of a chance. <laughs> for sure. I'm gonna click on rematch. <laughs> So I'm gonna make the first move, and I think you should also again make the first move, and then we wait 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Another Karakan. Yeah. It's quite easy to play in Bullet. Is it? Is it the car that you think the Karakan is an easy setup for Bullet games, especially? Mm hmm Yeah, like, uh, it's very easy to make moves, actually. I see. Well, wait, wait a second. I <laughs> forgot. Okay, sorry. Can we redo it? I forgot. I'm not the one who has to wait. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I was just talking here because, like, we need to wait 30 seconds. But we need to wait 30 seconds when it's Niha's move. Okay. Um. Well. <laughs> okay. That's Let's try to do this again. <laughs> Yeah, I feel so confident. I'm giving odds to Nihal. Like, I don't need time. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need time, guys. I'm gonna give him some time odds because, you know, he's a grandmaster. Um, I don't want to beat him too easily. <laughs> Left hand is quite tough, to be honest. Mm. Is it? It's a bit tough, but it's okay, it's fun. You can go in ah, okay. turn. Oh, this is annoying again. <laughs> Again, this annoying thing. Oh no, I don't want to fall for it twice. So annoying.
Okay. Oh no, I don't like this. I don't like this. What a bad position. Go away from my quit my king and queen. Yeah. <laughs> Go away. I'm gonna kill that again. I was just making a bad queen of that. Oh, okay, okay. I won on time! With two seconds left, I thought you were gonna flag me. I was so sure I'm losing this on time again. <laughs> yeah, I was lagging a bit, but uh, oh, you were lagging. Oh no. Yeah, it happens. It happens quite a bit. It's fine. Yeah, good game. Good game. No, I feel like it. I feel like the few games I win, it's because like you are giving me tons of odds, and on top of it, you are lagging. So it's it's fine. It's fine. But just look at the rating difference, guys. Look at my bullet rating. 1,762 versus 3,176. Okay, you haven't played bullet. <laughs> That's the only reason. I start to get the hang of it. I think I never really liked bullet because I feel like I'm slow. But there's something to it that you, you need to be pre-moving a lot. And it's, it's a different type of chess. Maybe I'm going to get into bullet more now, thanks to the match. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> you achieved that. Shall we play one last game with this time control, or you think yeah. that the lag is sure. too too much? Sure, like lag is the only problem actually, but it's hmm. fine. Should we can it. we can play something else for the final game if you think that there's too much lag. We can play something that's not about the time. Uh -huh. Another three checks. Okay. For the final game, and then it will not be. Hopefully, the lag will not be an issue. I'm gonna add uh, that as sure. the final game. Three checks, okay. that is. It's my favorite chess variant. But yeah, this bullet thing, I I might start practicing. And yeah. for the next time when we play, when you already are streaming on your channel, yeah, I actually, hopefully actually, will be ready. Do you want to try Fog of War? You want to play Fog of War? Sure. Let's do Fog of War. Seems, sure. Seems yeah, like it's true. It was on our list. I, I forgot we were gonna do that variant too. Let's Let's play Fog of War for the final one. Yeah, that would be like 50 50 I believe. can we add more time to that just to to talk about well i guess we no i guess we can't talk about our, our thought process because that reveals the pieces yeah no i normally talk quite some in fog of war when i play it on stream but then i realize uh, my opponents are not on a call with me when I'm talking about my ideas. <laughs> and I always try to guess where my opponent's pieces are. We can still do that, I guess, but no one will confirm anything. Like if I'm guessing your queen is on d5, you will not tell me I'm correct or not. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's play them Fog of War. Maybe, I wonder if maybe a bit more time for it because it's so strange, the board. 5 plus 5 for the lo last one, then no lag, no, no time pressure, and we just try to play Fog yeah. of War. Uh, sure. Uh, can you challenge me here? Because I'm yeah, let sure. me. And I think I'm gonna have to crop the board again because that looks different too somehow, the variants. Yeah, I just moved my laptop again. I hope that's not a problem. Now I'm finally Don't back worry. to my right. Yeah, true. Right I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna, gonna crop your camera again and I'm gonna crop the board and then we are good to go. I'm gonna adjust the camera. And then the board, because it looks different, the variance page. I think I'm going to have to... How do I challenge you here? Uh, Fog of War. Um, oh, I can I can choose here. 5-5 five, five versus Niha Sarin. Uh, okay, I'm challenging you, you and then I'm going to just adjust okay, the okay. board Let's before go. we start. Um, okay, this will be interesting. <laughs> I'm just gonna need a moment to adjust the board because it looks what bad. What did you what did you even play? I made a move. <laughs> I made a move, Niha. It's a move. Okay. <laughs> hmm, that's nice, that's yeah, you'll just not be able to see my stream, but it's a move. And uh -huh. you you seem to have made also a move. Yes. 
<laughs> Is that correct? You made a move. Mm -hmm. You took my pawn on e4 already? How? Wait. I was hoping you played some knight f2. I don't know. How? You already took my pawn and I don't see what's on e4. Wait a second. <laughs> well, it can... It can only be a pawn or a knight that captured my pawn, but I would have seen it if it's a pawn. So it's your knight on e4, because if it was a pawn, I could have captured you. Mm -hmm. that's it's nice. a knight. Like, that's how I understood you played e4 as well. I played knight of 6. I see. That mm -hmm. was tricky. I'm already a pawn down. I'm already a pawn down. Luckily, in fog of war, it's not that terrible, I guess, yet. But huh. I should be careful. I should be more careful. I really wonder what your second move is. <laughs> I'm guessing it is Knight of Three. It's so difficult not to react. <laughs> so <laughs> difficult not to react. Mm, I. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I wanted to capture Nia's king, but I did not manage. He saw me doing it. I mean, he didn't actually see it, but he predicted it. Mm -hmm. What's that move? <laughs> I don't know what you played. Mm. I think I know what you did. But... I wish I could guess what you are doing, but there aren't there aren't many yeah. clues. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I would love to know what you're doing as going to find out some stuff. Ooh! Aggressive. Aggressive move. Okay, you saw that? That means you have a knight on it. Man, I shouldn't have told you anything! <laughs> <laughs> I should not have said it! <laughs> I should not have said anything! <laughs> hmm. What would that move be? I don't know. This is so... I don't like the knight on e4. It's so annoying. Hmm. I'm just gonna... I feel like this is a bad move, but I'm gonna play it. Oh. The bishop is there. Oh, wait, you didn't know? <laughs> wait, you didn't know <laughs> that? No, I thought you went back bishop e2. Seriously? Yeah. Okay. Huh. Well, I'm still scared though. I'm worried that there's something, something here and that could go wrong for me. <laughs> Where did the knight possibly go? <laughs> I know that a knight moved, but I have no idea where it is. Okay, I don't see any clues about your moves. There's no other clue I could pick up on. Indeed, too. Really want to find out what's on. Mm. Okay. It's just going to go here. Oh, what? Ah. Okay, that has to be guarded, right? Okay, it was protected. What is it that took back on c5? I wonder. So the knight did go to you. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I have <laughs> traded two of your knights and you have taken a knight and bishop of mine. You still have a pair of bishops. I wonder where those bishops are. I hope I'm a pawn. 
Where are the bishops? I'm gonna try to figure out what's going on here if we see what's going on there. <laughs> oh, this is bad for me. This is bad. <laughs> uh, hmm. Okay, where did that knight go? Okay. Where did. Oh. Where how did you move? What's what's going on here? <laughs> I know that a knight moved. What what was where did it go? Hmm. I'm gonna play this move. That was I hope my thing is not hanging. Taken. <laughs> that was taken. Oh my What? <laughs> I don't like this. Oh. Mm. Where are your pieces? <laughs> Where are your pieces? <laughs> I was trying to find your king, but yeah, I was guessing that you possibly have placed the queen there. At least I didn't yeah, put I... it on the square where it's hanging. My, I would love to find out where a knight is. Okay. Is that free? No. Hopefully so not free. Two. Hopefully not free. So it's a knight on b2. Okay. <laughs> you still have a bishop somewhere. I need to figure out where your bishop is and where's the rook. Where are those pieces? Hmm. Uh -huh. What? How? <laughs> How did you take my... Your bishop was on g4 or h5? Oh, it was on c2. On c2? Ha yeah. You've just played bishop c2 after the trade on d1? Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> no, unfortunately, I also know where the knight is. <laughs> yeah, this is game over. <laughs> this is game over. But let's let's finish the game in style. So Nihal has just won my rook. He figured out. Uh, well, you saw my rook there after the trade. You knew that I was gonna take back there, I guess. But you 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 also guessed where my knight was when you played bishop c two. You knew that I couldn't take it. You guessed. Yeah, that's when you said that my knight is on b2. Yeah. Yes, yes. You figured out where my pieces were. Oh, well. Yeah, that's why it's maybe good to capture. If you capture something, the good thing is that you might know something. True. Like yeah, something... trades are good for that. That's true. Uh-huh. Now I'm just up a full rook, right? Yeah, unfortunately for me, this is pretty much a hopeless case my one chance would be if i capture your king that's a decent chance <laughs> at least i have a knight so the knight is a piece that your king will not see but i don't think you will let my knight get anywhere close no, to your king <laughs> Those of you asking if you can capture the king in Fog of War, yes, in Fog of War the objective is to capture the king. So check uh, or checkmate wouldn't win the game. There's no checkmate actually. You need to capture the okay. king. That's the end of the game. Like in Fog of War, actually, even King versus King is not a draw. Wait, right? wait. What does it say? I won. Um... Uh, what? Did I disconnect? Must have been. Anyway, we should count it as I resigned because I was just gonna make a few more moves. Because uh, you're oh, clearly, yeah. you're obviously winning. I think it disconnected or something. Um, it count, it counts as a win for Nihal because I was completely lost. Uh, we don't count for fates. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh sure. I'm, I'm yeah. writing it on the wrong side. Thanks so much for the match, Nihal. Because this, 
I know that the, you normally are training and competing at your own tournament. As you said, you were competing just a few weeks ago at the World Youth Championships. So you normally have very important events to, to prepare for. And I really appreciate you took the time to, to appear on my stream as a guest. And we got to play an odds match. It was so much fun. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Thank you very much. It was just great pleasure. And we hope that you will start streaming soon. Uh, I think you already have a Twitch name, just just the same as your Twitter. So it's mm -hmm. your name altogether, Nihal Sarin. Yeah. You can give a shout out to your channel, even if you haven't started streaming yet. Um, I think it would be great for people to follow already your channel. And the moment you start streaming, they will know that you are live. So that's just Nihal Sarin altogether. If my moderators could could give a link to that, so twitch.tv slash Nihal Sarin. And in our Nihal command, you guys have the rest of the social media, your Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube channel. We hope that you will start streaming, but of course, in the meantime, we also hope that you will keep going strong and you will keep fighting for your dreams because to become a world champion, that that is a big dream, but you're still only 16 and I wish you the very best for your chess career. You're very talented. Uh, you were very uh, kind to me in some of the games. I feel like this could have been just a, a crushing it every game. Uh, you basically would destroy me if it wasn't for some of the the very unfavorable odds for you. It's, uh, yeah. Th thank you very much. Thanks so much for being here. And guys, remember to follow Nihal on all his social media and hopefully soon on Twitch too, there will be streams. And I think Bye. you've just received a gifted sub to my channel but from Aaron still so that you can use the votes and and have all the, the subscriber benefits and the, it's including a hat next to your name because my subscription badges are hats so you're gonna have a cap next to your name and you can use the emotes that we have on the channel I, I will also remember to to let Hikaru know that maybe one day if, if uh, he needs an opponent uh, you would be a very mercy one thank you so much again for joining me Niha. yeah th thank you very much bye bye Thank you so much for watching. This was streamed live on my Twitch channel where I stream full time, five days a week. Do catch us live next time or follow the highlights and the votes here on my YouTube channel. In either case, I really appreciate your support. Thank you so much again and bye for now. Until the next time.